Travis Benner, and this is Next Generation Science. This video is meant to show how teachers in the field can integrate the next generation science standards into their curriculum. And the activity you're going to now see correlates to the life science standard, support and argument that plants get the materials they need for growth, chiefly from air and water. The clarification statement is emphasis is on the idea that plant matter comes mostly from air and water, not from the soil. Before starting an exploration involving growing plants without soil, it's important to ask the question, where do plants get the materials they need for growth? When you ask students to design an experiment for growing plants from seeds without using soil, they will typically think of using paper towels, baggies, cotton balls, and even just water in a cup. There are also many different kinds of commercial hydroponic materials that will work well to grow seeds without soil. It is a good idea to offer students a variety of methods, but limit their choices to single types of materials as they design each test. They will need to take care not to overwater their seeds, and they will also need to make sure that their materials don't become too dry. When students see their seeds sprouting and starting to grow in something other than soil, fifth grade students will usually explain what is happening by saying that the plants are using water and light. Some will likely add that photosynthesis is the reason, but they'll not be able to explain how exactly this process works. The teacher will need to provide direct instruction related to photosynthesis so that the students will begin to see the importance of carbon dioxide in the air for plant growth. So what do you think plants need in order to grow? 
while all plants need they don't need soil they that these are hydrocorkles and that um the water when they get poured into them um they it soaks up the water and it stays in there and the plant and the plant can grow with just the water is there anything else that these plants need to grow um the plant can grow with C um co2 which is carbon dioxide and co2 and h2o which is water go um goes into the plant to grow and where do these plants get the co2 from the air around us so where do the plants that you're holding get what they need to grow? Um, they use carbon dioxide and water to grow, since actually they don't need dirt to grow. They just need a place to, where they can stand up, so they can go up. So where do plants get the stuff they need to grow? Well, they get it from... One of the things they get it from is us because we breathe out CO2 and since we're like everyday life forms, we walk by plants like trees and grass, we always breathe and so air travels through, air travels fast so you go to the ground or to the tree and it will absorb that and then the sunlight that always happens during the day it, it shines on that and it uses that to grow and then it gets water from the soil because it always rains or somebody just waters them and they d use sometimes they don't even need the soil like these they're just absorbing the water from the cotton balls that absorb the water for them If you want to see more videos like this one, or learn more about next generation science standards, go to YouTube and search for Benner Science and like my page. Remember, it's teachers like you that make a difference. Thanks for watching.